it's Lizzie. I'm back once again. This time it's for something exciting. For the month of October, I have filmed videos, whether they have to do with Halloween or with fall, and I hope you like them because I'm super proud of them and super excited, and I would love for you to love them as much as I do. Uh, the first video that I want to start with of course is something simple that we normally do as soon as October hits and that is decorate and bring out all the pumpkins. So I decorated the front of my door, you know, door to my house. I decorated that area. I wanted to just show you what I did and maybe this will give you some inspiration for your front door. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the video. I hope you like it and here we go. that I did was head over to Hobby Lobby to get some craft pumpkins. Now, that means they are not the full-on heavy pumpkins that you carve. They are just regular old craft pumpkins. They were a little bit pricey, but I wanted to go all out and I don't know, I just went for it. So I bought them and with the photo that I used for inspiration, the color was white and rose gold. So with some of the pumpkins that I got, they were beige and I went ahead and just got a big bottle of acrylic white paint and painted them uh, a few times. And I also got some rose gold spray paint and this brand, I don't know it, but I'm going to put it right here. This brand of spray paint, I really like it. I've never been a crafty person because I normally don't have the patience for it. But, I am now, kinda. Anyway, I really like this spray paint. It was really easy to use. And yes, I did look super crazy the way that I was dressed to spray paint these pumpkins because I just, well, let me just say that a kid's Disney mask and pink rubber cleaning gloves were worn while I spray painted these pumpkins. I waited for everything to dry and quickly realized that if it rains, all of my work is probably gonna wash off. So I went ahead and got some sealer uh, to spray paint the white pumpkins and the rose gold pumpkins. And again, I don't know if you're not supposed to use spray paint over white acrylic paint because it makes it drip and turn colors, but I did it anyway and I'm happy that I did it. The next things that I did were change out my doormat and put a wreath. My aunt made the wreath that I have on my door. She made it for me last year and I was excited to use it again for this year. Uh, and it was perfect timing for me to change out my doormat because I've had the hey y'all one uh, since I moved in over a year ago. And the one that I'm using now just as thankful and I figured I could use it for October and November. To also add some more decorations, I really wanted to make this as simple as possible. Um, I found a silver bucket at Hobby Lobby uh, and I just bought a different size pumpkin that I could put on the inside. And I don't know what this stuff is called. Um, this stuff that's like sticking out of the bucket, I don't know what it's called, but I also got that at Hobby Lobby and I think I got some at Joann's as well. Uh, and I just stuck it in the bucket with the one big pumpkin and yeah. The little baby pumpkins that I have, I got those last year. I don't even remember where, but they're like sparkly orange ones and I just painted those as well uh, just to reuse them and I really, again, like how they turned out. While we were at Joann's looking for stuff when we walked in, I saw the two little things of hay and I wanted them right away. I didn't know how I was going to use them, uh, but I got two of them and they ended up coming out really cute as a cute addition to put the uh, bucket on top of. And I also just got a simple Hello Fall sign. I got that at Joann's, I think, uh, just to put outside as well. And the last thing was getting the stool. 
I couldn't find a white one anywhere, so I just Googled a small wooden stool and I found one, ordered it, and when it got here, I just went ahead and painted it white as well. This is the most craft work I've done since I was probably five years old. And I, for one, am so proud of myself because I didn't quit. Because normally when I start projects like that, I usually end up quitting halfway through. But for this, I did not quit. And I am so happy because this is what my front door looks like now. And I'm so proud of it. I think it looks so cute. And I hope people who drive by my house appreciate it because a lot of it was DIY and I don't know. I'm just proud of myself for making it happen. I really hope you guys like this video. Again, I'm going to be posting uh, videos all throughout the month of October. Uh, please, please, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it. Post it on your wall, share it on your news feed, all that good stuff. Get the word out about not only this page, but with all of these fun videos that I'm going to be posting. I hope more and more people get to see them. And that's where you come in. And this is me asking for your help to share them. Don't forget that I have some more really exciting videos coming. They're already filmed. And I will say that there is cuteness in the next one that is coming up. And I will just leave it at that. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I love you. And I will see you next time. Bye!